New Year's hikers. I know, is that a big water? Is that a big water? Hello, happy New Year's and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you and your dogs had a fantastic New Year's Eve and that your 2019 is off to a great start. Uh, so for today's video, for the first video of 2019, I thought I'd do something a little bit different uh, in terms of content and talking about training. And I thought I would do a training bullet journal look set up. So um, I am not a fancy bullet journaler. I like craft stores as much as the next person. I even like to doodle, but like my bullet journal, I fell in down the rabbit hole of YouTube bullet journalers and planner people. And oh my goodness, those people have beautiful planners. I don't know how they have time to do any of the things that are in their planners because I feel like they're probably spending all of their time doing their planners, or at least I would. I like bullet journals because it's a really fast and easy way to keep track of things and specifically to coordinate um, a daily plan for myself about some really particular things. So I'd actually... Um, always been a list maker. I'm somebody that makes a lot of lists. I keep a lot of sort of like active um, notebooks full of like my to-do lists, things I'm working on, notes for things, outlines for things. If you are new to my channel, which you probably are because this is a baby channel that my goal is to really put a lot of focus on growing in 2019. Um, I'm a full-time writer. I write books. I write articles for dog magazines. Um, I'm always balancing a lot of deadlines, a lot of different projects. So to-do lists are my best friend. I carry notebooks with me everywhere that have sort of like running to-do lists in them. That is not a bullet journal for me. Um, but I started getting into them, like the idea of bullet journaling, actually when my youngest dog had her major knee surgery this fall, which I've talked about in previous videos. Um, and specifically after surgery, when we were doing physical therapy, one of the really great things about professional physical therapists um, for dogs who are recovering from major orthopedic surgeries is that not only are you going in and doing um therapeutic modalities that like I can't do in my house, like an underwater treadmill and laser treatments. And you know, the therapist who is a veterinarian is like doing exercises with the dog. Um, but they're also creating an individualized exercise plan for you to take home and do every week, um, in the days between your therapy appointments. And, um, and then it changes every week. So like it was, I mean, rehabbing um, our puppy was truly like somewhere between a part-time and a full-time job. Uh, I am very, very grateful that I work from home and have an incredibly flexible schedule. And so I was able to devote a lot of time to rehab. And while I was doing that, um, I needed a way to keep track of what I was doing every day because not only were there lots of exercises that needed to happen and in, happen in different um um, different amounts, um, each time I was doing them, but also that changed every week. So just when I got into a pattern of what exercises I was doing, we'd go back to therapy, we'd get new exercises and it would start over. So I started bullet journaling. So I took this notebook, which is my active current notebook that I'm writing to-do lists and grocery lists and remembering that I need to order cat food and also like outlines for articles I'm writing for magazines and whatnot. Um, I took that and I started just blocking out um, a daily, here's notes from Rally, uh, a daily sort of bullet journal for what her physical therapy was with check boxes. This was just happened. Oh, this was actually a month ago today. That's kind of wild. So this was December 3rd. Uh, and then every throughout the day, as I did each of the different modalities of therapy, her heat treatments, her down to stands, pivots, pause ups, backs, um, tunnels, and the different like lengths of walk she was doing at that point, etc. I would check them off in my notebook, and I would just when I went we got home from therapy every week, I would just set up her physical therapy log for the next week and just save enough pages in my notebook and put a marker in there and then fill it out um, every day. And it was so helpful to structure a training plan for myself um, that made sense and that I was able to like, I think this is actually where I, yeah, so like here's, you know, some from November where I was, she had different exercises at that point. We were doing wobble, um, some wobble work and um, 
shorter walks, that kind of thing. And I had a space to put notes. So if anything came up with the um, physical therapy um, exercises that we were doing, I could make notes about it and determine whether I needed to email her therapist or whether I could wait till our next week's appointment and talk to her in person. So it worked really well for tracking that. And then I realized if it worked so well for that, it could actually work for my ongoing training um, goals. I don't know about you, but when I'm working with my dogs, I always have different projects that we're working towards, be it our next trick title or, um, you know, just a skill we're working on. And I like to keep goals for myself and I like to organize it. And so I realized what might be really cool would be to have a bullet journal for the year where I track every day what we're working on and that I can shift it around. Similar to how I was able to change things um, for my dog recovering from PT uh, and physical therapy that I was be able to create a training plan. So because I am not a fancy bullet journal person, I did not want to spend a lot of money doing this. Um, but because I'm a writer, I have a lot of notebooks. People give me notebooks like as Christmas presents and as birthday gifts. And it just kind of is a thing that I get a lot of as gifts. And so I was like, what do I have a notebook I can use for this? And the answer was yes. So this is a notebook I was given at some point. It is a uh, Little Prince themed which is a wonderful, wonderful children's book. It's like not my favorite book in the world, but it's a wonderful, beautiful book. Uh, and what I really liked about it was that it has a band to keep it closed. I've done a little bit in here, so I'm gonna show you that in a minute. And that the pages were, were really nice and blank, but it was contained. So I was like, this can at least work for the first part of the year. Um, and I'm gonna use it, I'm using it both to bullet journal, bullet journal, bullet journal, my dog training um, goals, as well as some other sort of like daily dog care things and like me care things like drinking water. Um, but what I did to the front to make it a little more special, it had uh, the Little Prince cover and then I have these vinyl stickers that are my three dogs um, that I got in one of those um, internet promotions and it was like 10 stickers for a dollar. And so I got these custom vinyl stickers of them and so I put it on the cover, which I thought worked really nicely and reminded me that this is to track my training. Um, so then I thought I'd walk you through how I've set it up and how I'm approaching doing this. So to do this, um, I decided to put this sticker on the front and then I need to fill out sort of just like basic stuff in here. And then because I'm like a pretend crafter, I do have a lot of washi tape. I have bins of washi tape and stickers, uh, that I use for letter writing and, some scrapbooking and things. So I did decide to use some of my dog themed washi tape to decorate inside here a little bit. I haven't done very much. I'm going to do more. Um, so there's just some things here. And I also put quotes. Uh, I imagine that I am going to write these quotes actually onto the pages, but I have yet to do that. The one that I really loved um, for this though is from The Little Prince, which felt like it related to the book I'm using and it says, if you tame me, then we shall need each other. To me, you will be unique in all the world. To you, I shall be unique in all the world. And I think it's just a really beautiful quote. Um, and it makes me think about the responsibility that we have to our dogs, that they are beings that we have tamed um, we being like a species over time and then also our relationships with individual dogs. It really makes me think about my um, former street dog uh, and the responsibility that we have to the relationships with our dogs. Uh, I also have a JK Rowling quote. Um, it is important to remember that we are all have magic inside us. And I, I just love, I loved that. So I thought it was a fun, joyous way to begin. Um, I should write them actually off the sticky notes onto the pages. I haven't done that yet. Similarly, I imagine I'm going to put cute washi tape here or something in stickers and I'm gonna write January. Have I done that? No, I have not. Uh, so here, this is where I was sort of to play the last couple of days, figuring out what things I wanted to put for training on here. And I'm still figuring this out a little bit. Um, but my training log for today, and it's in pencil right now, uh, I think I need to go, I wanna go back in in pen. I was moving things around, so I did pencil first. So um, water and journaling are my own things, but so I'm logging um, the two 30 minute walks that my youngest is taking every day with me, uh, her physical therapy, which I have not yet done for today and need to. Uh, and then right now we're putting a lot of emphasis on rally training because my youngest's first rally trial is in just under two weeks. 
which is hilarious. Um, we did a lot of rally training before her knee injuries. Uh, when we lived on the West Coast, we haven't done... Um, We've been getting back into it, obviously, since she's been <coughs> medically cleared to do that. She's entered um, because it is the Newfoundland um, regional specialty. And we're entered just to have fun uh, and get her some socialization experience in that kind of a show environment. But in the meantime, Rally is a big training focus for us right now. So we're working signs and uh healing and sequences so we did actually all those today and then nose work so nose work is my newest um training fun time thing that I've gotten into um particularly actually with my um middle dog Charlotte my former street dog she loves nose work uh she and I had the opportunity we were given a press pass to scent work universities uh intro to nose work class this fall we fell completely in love with it uh, and we've been given press passes for the next two classes. So we're just starting those now, um, which is why actually over here, we just yesterday finished the introductory scent work class. Uh, and so that was checked off. So today we didn't get to do any nose work games today and we didn't start the first lecture for our new class. That's probably going to move to tomorrow. So that. That is one of the things I really like about the bullet journaling for tracking my training is it's not always perfect. Like our training plans aren't um, everything we always Which want. I think them. is kind of the way of dog training, right? Like in my perfect version of myself, I train all the things every day that I want to. My dogs and I have a great time. Um, and the reality is my dogs and I have a great time every day. We don't always make it to every training goal. So today... The first lecture for Scentwork University didn't happen, but that's okay. I can see that it didn't happen. I don't have to like be upset at myself about it. That will just move to tomorrow. So at this point, because I'm still figuring out what is going into my bullet journal, I'm setting up pages every day. My plan is that um, as that becomes a little less in flux, that I will set up my training plan for the week. I'm hoping actually this week to sort of use this, this experiment to figure out what I want in the bullet journal, what I don't want in the bullet journal, so that next week I can, on Sunday, set up the entire week here. I also have grooming in here. I did nails today for the dogs, um, so that, that was in here. I've also experimented, uh, I had some drafts, pages of this too. I was looking at marking, um, supplements and medication for the dogs and the cats that may or may not go in my bullet journal I'm undecided I think I want to mostly keep it training specific and less like into the grooming and overall care um of of the dogs because I I don't need to track that in that way that all happens every day anyway I think it's more about training that I'm excited to find a new way to sort of keep track of and be able to look back on um, what we got done and what we're going to get done. So I would love to know, do you bullet journal your training um, plans with your dogs? If you do, uh, what kind of things do you put down? Do you just keep it specific to like long-term training goals, short-term training goals, daily training goals? Um, I did something very similar to this um, bullet journaling with my youngest when she was potty training um, and had a daily log that was spread over months so I could see when for, you know, the first six months of her life we had any kind of potty accidents in the house and we were able to then see like oh we haven't had an accident in four months I probably don't need to keep this log anymore so that was really helpful and I definitely recommend it for anybody who is potty training puppies uh, it makes it really easy to start seeing patterns or see successes um, and to know when you're on the right track with it so what are some of your training goals for 2019? What do you hope you and your dogs are going to accomplish? For us, it's very much rally for the baby, nose work for the middle pup, uh, and my my senior is just happy to do um, whatever. He does some trick stuff. He takes a lot of naps when she's 16 and a half is fair. Um, so that's, that's my training goals, that and have a lot of adventures. We've already... Um, we went on a hike on New Year's Day and that was really fun. So let me know in the comments what your 2019 dog training goals are and if you're thinking about bullet journaling. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. There's going to be a lot of fun dog content coming this year.